Hello, 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 and welcome to this game in ICGC Goa between Four Degrees and Riptide. And Four Degrees actually happens to be a really interesting player. His name is Shapi, or Rao, and I will not even try to pronounce the name of the Sri Lankan because it is going to be a really difficult one for me to go ahead and pronounce. He's really nice. He says PP, and he actually paused this, so there you go. I also wanted to go ahead and bring my dear friend Gotham Work into this. So, Mr. Iron, uh, what do you say? What do you see in this game, and what do you have to say about all these probes and SCVs going and scouting in the wrong directions? Well, it's scouting is scouting. You, I guess, they start with the bottom base first. Both of them decided to go in the same direction. But let's just start with the Protoss in uh, top left position, the green Protoss, four degrees. Uh, the only Protoss in the tournament and we have the blue Terran on the top right position. He's the only Terran from Sri Lanka, actually the only player from Sri Lanka. And I'm a big fan of PvT, it's very interesting games. Uh, let's see what goes on so far. We have a pretty basic opener from Protoss. We have the gate, the cybernetic is down, the gas is being mined. The second gas goes down, this means he's probably going to expand, century expand. And on the other hand, we have a tech lab on the barracks, which is now going and making a marauder. No, no, wait, it's making a marine. So I'm hoping that this will make a marauder because the tech lab is there and you should not be wasting. There we go. Perfect. The, the first marauder comes out. The factory is down. The second gas is being taken. Wow, and in, look. And interesting, if you'd see, uh, you have a small push that is actually being done by four degrees. He has one zealot and one stalker who are walking across the entire map and they should be uh, moving very quickly into a attacking position and let's see what this will go ahead and do the stock they're just moving back and the zealot is now taking down but i don't think this push will really uh, be successful but uh, behind this push you actually see uh, an expansion that has happened by four degrees so what do you have to say about the two one stalker one zealot sacrifice I was hoping, I, I'm guessing that sh sh 4 Degrees was hoping uh, more fight to favor in, in, in his side, right? Because he wanted to expand behind it. But the problem is he's lost two of his zealots. And now he doesn't have anything to defend his new ex expo with. So if Riptide was to attack right now, he should be able to take down the expo. So let's see how Riptide responds to this small push. And the fact that Protoss has just lost two zealots. But interestingly, four degrees have put down a pylon in the natural of the Terran. I hope he's going to spawn some units here and try to do some harass. But here comes the first Hellion going and knocking on Protoss' door. Let's see what he sees and what does Protoss do to stop this. Mm, interesting. Let's see. Well, the sentry is standing sufficiently. Well, he blocks it off. That, that will deny everything. Now, the question is, can these guys get enough sight to go ahead and kill everyone off? Yes, they can. These stalkers are now going to go to town. They're going to try and shoot, but the sentry is gone. Uh, but the nexus has been hereby exposed. There are two uh, marauders and two marines trying to take that. Is, are there enough units by, uh, with four degrees to do it? Yeah, he is whopping in one zealot, two zealots. There's one sentry and there's two stalkers. But would this be sufficiently in time to go ahead and take out? The shields are down in the nexus. Uh, the, and there, here comes a whole supporting army. Three hellions, one marauder. Oh my god, this is going to be really close. Let's see what happens. There's a, there's a wasted force field which goes down. The zealots are now going to town. There's one marauder there. One marauder goes down. Oh my god, the supporting units are going really fast. This is the, 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 the Terran is pulling back. Oh my god, the, the, the uh, Toss is actually going and taking this. How is that happening? Do you know what? Let me tell you how that's happening. He keeps making more Hellions. He does not need Hellions. This is, he's not facing a Zerg player that he's expecting a lot of Zerglings. Uh, stalkers are armored. The sentry is light. So it, it doesn't make sense why he's using the Stalkers would be the perfect counter to Hellions. Uh, I have no idea why he's doing the Marauder Hellion build here. He still hasn't ex ex scouted that pylon there. Maybe he does see it now, but I don't know what he's doing. He keeps making more Hellion, there we go, and more Hellions coming out. I have no idea what he's... Maybe he's still thinking that all the Protoss units are light. Maybe he can just burn them with the blue flame. Uh, what do you think? Like, he needs Marauder and Marine. I don't know why he's gone Marauder and Hellion, but... Oh. Well, he, I, I think he'd really expected to go ahead and snipe a lot of these... Uh, 
probes in the back line and he never got to go in there because these guys, if they were exposed to the back line, would have done major, major damage. But I don't think they got to go into the back line. And there is this entire force which is just turtling for the Protoss, which is preventing any kind of push th uh, from happening for this. And, and there's another engagement that is happening. I think the micro... Oh, great force fields to go ahead and uh, <laughs> get the tank taken out. And there goes the Guardian Shield. I think that would be enough to go ahead and push the entire army back. And now you have a 69-76 versus a 51-78. And I if you... I basically think the Terran has overcommitted on this attack and that's why he's behind. If you look at the units tab, you can clearly see the SCV count is 30 and the probe count is 46. All the Protoss right doing right now is just defending, defending, defending. And Terran is overcommitting on attack. And this is not going to end well very soon because macro-wise, we have the Protoss players way, way ahead in this. And the longer this game goes on now, the farther behind Terran is going to be. So let's see how this goes out. Yeah, well, yes. well he, they finally taken off that one pylon uh, that was there. There was one zealot which had uh, warped in. And there is this observer sitting in the middle of the map, scouting everything out and making sure nothing untoward is happening. Uh, why is this one tank sitting where he's sitting? And why is there a <laughs> barracks being made as a proxy near the base? Well, I have to tell, this is a very good location to put a proxy as long as it's not getting scouted. Uh, maybe he's going to put down some tech lab on this. So maybe he can fly it out and use it as a scouting. But, but what, what, as soon as someone attacks through this choke, that thing is going to get scouted out. Or even if something walks down there. Uh, there is this observer coming down. I don't know whether this is a great idea. I'm just going to... Uh, let's see what if the uh, Protoss sees it. Well, he doesn't. And if you... Uh, well, well, interesting. Really interesting. And look at the... There's a random tank just parked in the middle of the map. He's just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to chill here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think that's absolutely... Oh, the, the barracks is actually flying. Yes, barracks have the ability to fly and... and why is it flying over the base? Why did he build a barracks there to fly? That's his scouting probe, the Terran scouting probe. And it's very strong, <laughs> very impossible to take down. <laughs> this is... <laughs> is he going to land in front of the mineral line? <laughs> no, I think he's just using it as a scout. And there we go, the Protoss is pushing out with this huge army. And he's decided not to wait for his plus one, plus one to finish. He's just like, forget this. I think I can just finish this game right here. Oh, and I think he's absolutely right. Uh, supporting pylons just going down. The charge lodge are uh, just moving in. The tank was got unseaged. Uh, this uh, great force field that goes down. Uh, all these marauders are just getting... And oh, well, the force field is now harming him. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, there's no stim either. So there's little he can do. Um... Wow, this is not going to look too good for our Terran player. And okay. There go the charge lots again. They should be able to go ahead and take one, two, three, four people out. Uh, and the big old immortals are just standing and going boom, boom, boom with the big guns. And they should be able to go ahead and tank this uh, bunker anytime. And not a problem at all. And I think this... Oh, and here come more supporting charge lots up on the high ground. <laughs> pretty much over this yeah. is not looking good i think hellions was the reason why mm. his commitment to hellions and not using them uh, very peculiarly to yeah, take there, down yeah, the yeah. drone so there you go great Keep game good game i agree bad bad unit choice and that's it and let's go to the next game